some people might say like, okay, Holo Zero is just like simulate the universe, it's a roguelike, okay, etc. Uh, and that's it, right? No. Uh, Holo Zero is more important uh, than what you think, because Holo Zero not only is going to have their own progression, its own progression is going to be like uh, roguelike, etc., but also influences the monster that you know about. And when is that important? It's important when you go to the VR device. When you go to the VR device, you will be able to choose different activities and fight different bosses that might drop different items now if you didn't meet the boss yet you will not have it unlocked which means that you will, would not able would not be able to fight him and you're also going to miss extra opportunities or extra bosses that you can do uh, per week or extra materials that you don't know where they are right so by going through all of the different biomes of the Holo Zero, you will e eventually encounter all of the monsters, okay? So, the Holo Zero is structured in a way that you are going to do the first tutorial, and then after you're doing the tutorial, you are uh, you start going through the different biomes, the different, uh, the different places, different maps. And by going through the different maps, uh, you can actually... Uh, fight different type of monsters. When you are in it, you are doing your normal run, and you will encounter this new monster. After you encounter this new monster, you now have them unlocked to now fight in the VR in the VR device. So it is really important for you to do and to progress Holo Zero as uh, often as you can. Of course, don't burn yourself out because if you don't want to do it don't do it but keep in mind that if you are missing a certain core or a certain monster or a certain material it might be coming from those uh instances that you have haven't yet unlocked okay so that that's why it's really important uh because that way you will be able to access everything so now that character that you need to do uh that you need to get the core for uh you know where to go right so the Holo Zero is going to have multiple maps. It has uh, a very big progression. You also can get a lot of um, of uh, polychromes, which are the, the jades, the primo gems. So I, uh, I'm making this video today just to tell you that it's really important to at least do, I don't know, like once or twice uh, a week at least. You won't need those materials most of the time until a little bit later. So doing it, here and there, the Holo Zero, do like a run here and there. It's always good because uh, not only you will unlock more monsters and more materials options for your farming, you will also uh, will be unlocking uh, the passive that the Holo Zero has. You will get the materials needed to increase the Holo Zero uh, passive tree. So you start the new run stronger than before. You will also level up your uh, account level for the Holo Zero. So that way, uh, every time, every three and five, I believe, you will get extra uh, extra jades, extra polychromes. So that's cool. You're going to get a lot of those. There's a big progression. You can get up to level 60 or something from level one. So there is a lot of progression uh, and materials gated behind Holo Zero. And that's why I'm making this video. So try to do it as soon as possible, as often as possible, of course, without exaggerating too much, because you know how that works, okay? Uh, it's going to it's going to be very, very long. You can't really rush it too much. Uh, you could, but, you know. So, uh, personally, I didn't do it until... I didn't do it too much until level, like, 34, 35. So, I, I feel like up until that level, you can do it whenever you feel like it. But the core items... Uh, that you're going to have to use for your characters are going to be needed later on. So you don't have to worry about it too much for the for the unlocking a new monster type of thing. But you do definitely need to progress the, the Hollow Zero because it's needed for multiple reasons, right? Polychromes, new monsters to, to farm, uh, get a better, stronger run next time by using your, your juice that you drop from the Hollow Zero to enhance your passives. So uh, now you know. It was just a heads up. <laughs> it was just a heads up uh, for uh, people that might not know that some things are 
locked behind finding them in the hollow zero right i didn't know uh until i tried to do one and it tell it literally told me you haven't yet encountered this monster you encounter this one in the hollow zero so by progressing you progress you do one biome you unlock the next one by doing the next one now you unlock the third one but if you don't play and you just do maybe just one biome now you're not going to progress you're not going to find the monster that you need to find so uh try to clear one biome the moment you have a new one unlocked go do that one instead of repeating the first one uh, go do one of each at least so you have everything unlocked quote unquote everything uh, at least the monsters and then maybe you go back because there are different different um difficulties obviously on uh, each biome so yeah that is it hopefully that was uh that was a uh, useful let me know in the comments if you know anything else that might help in this uh, in this situation uh thank you for watching subscribe for more videos about ZZZ. if you want to catch me live playing the game on release i will be live at twitch.tv forward slash jagazin or you can join my discord it's linked in the description uh thank you for watching and see you next time